Hi Stampers, I'm Meg from Loven Stamps and it's that time again, a catalog unboxing video. So this one we are going to feature the holiday catalog which comes out on September 1st unless you are a demonstrator. Uh, in which case you can pre-order now uh, during the month of August. So if you can't wait to get some of these products, you're super excited about them, clearly the only solution is to just sign up as a demonstrator, uh, join my team, and then you can place your pre-order now. So I have not one but two boxes of fun things from this catalog. And then because every Stampin' Up! video needs a helper, I have actually with me today a Stampin' Ninja because we all need a Stampin' Ninja to help with our unboxing videos, right? Okay, Ninja, should we get started? Okay, all right. So first box here da -da 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 -da, features items from the Candy Cane Suite, Candy Cane Lane. So here's this paper, which I just opened for you slightly ahead of time. I might have peeked at it, um, which has some really pretty um, colors. I love the um, cherry cobbler with this and the um, early espresso cookies and so forth and then the back side which is the small patterns um, to make things a little bit more neutral things like envelopes would be perfect with this and then of course to go with this you're going to want to check out the cookie cutter Christmas stamp set there we go look at that little reindeer and you know what you don't have to cut him out because the punch doubles for him too so I like this guy here it reminds me of that little um, the guy from uh, what's the movie? It's in Cleveland. Christmas time. Oh, eh. Shrek? No, not Shrek. Uh, anyway, it's the one where they dress up in a snowsuit and the guy can't see out. And I can't believe I can't remember it. I'm sure, leave me a comment, you'll know. Alright, what else do we have in here? Oh, this one I was so excited to see in the catalog. Okay, it is a um, Star of Light stamp set, which is gorgeous. And then the Stamps uh, match a set of framelits, which are absolutely beautiful. And I um, don't know if you guys do this or not, but when I open my framelits for the first time, I pull them out of the sleeve, and then I open this little folder and put the framelits this direction. Aren't those pretty? So then they match the stamps. They'll be gorgeous for, these would make really pretty ornaments. But then when I slide them back in the folder, I slide them in like this because I like to store my framelits still in their little envelopes but this way when they're in my storage unit I can see right from the front what I'm getting out so a hint for you let's see I have some more things detailed Santa oh the detailed Santa Finlet dies remember these two these go with the greetings from Santa um, stamp set so they go here like this and this one, I don't know if you can tell, the catalog samples are really pretty, oh, upside down, that would help. Um, see the Santa face here and his beard and then some pieces to go with it. And then of course the Santa things you need, naughty or nice and so forth. All right, I have a pile of random stuff. Ooh, this is new Baker's Twine that matches the candy cane lane. Oh, and I love this ribbon, look at it, with a little um, blanket stitched edge. A really pretty ribbon. Okay, that box is empty. All right, Ninja. Are we ready for the next box? All right, Ninja, next box, ready? Here we go. What do you think, should we start with Christmas, Halloween? Oh, this one, okay. All right, the Ninja says that we should start with the Christmas Pines stamp set and the dies that are the presents and pine cones um, sweets. And there's designer series paper to go with this too. I think I need to train my Stampin' Ninja to recognize the names of the sweets so that he can help me by pulling things out. Anyway, I'm not this, one, <laughs> this one is the Presents and Pinecone paper, so let me open this in a second. Thank you, Ninja. So the stamps are gorgeous and the um, framelits are perfectly suited. Um, we haven't had one like this for a long, well, I don't think Stampin' Up's ever had one like this, where it's the pine boughs and so forth. So this will make a really great combination to do some stamped pine boughs and then some framelit pine boughs. And then of course we want the designer series paper for a little treats. Have you used the clear um, treat boxes yet? Those clear tree boxes are my favorite for um, lining with designer series paper. I have a, a Foxy Friends project this month that uses those. So here is our paper and there are patterns on one side. 
the Christmas colors for this, ooh, and super traditional Christmas colors on the back. So it's kind of nice if you want to feature the red and green, that's great, or if you want to go a little bit more with the gold, um, that's fine. These bells go with an item, let's see, we get those on there. The bells go with a punch and a stamp that I didn't pre-order. I know it seems like I always pre-order everything, but I didn't. So um, even demonstrators sometimes have to wait for a little bit. All right, what's next? Oh, Santa sleigh and the dies. I think we need a visit from a Santa's helper, don't you? While I open these, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna do my die opening trick. Oh, they're so cute, and even cuter in person than in the catalog. Oh, it's Santa's helper. This is perfect. I'm Santa's help. Her, two. All right, because everyone needs not only a ninja, but a, a Stampin' Santa ninja. Okay. I have no idea. Thank you, Santa. All right, so here's our sleigh dies. So here's our Stampin' Sleigh. And then here is Pine Tree, a Reindeer, the sleigh image. And then there's actually an overlay for the sleigh. See those little details there? The catalog samples are gorgeous. Um, do the background like in a color and the topper in like a metallic. Um, foil paper. So pretty. Okay, what else do we have in here? Oh, this seems so appropriate because we just had our visit from our Santa Ninja. The Jolly Friends stamp set and the um, Jolly Friends matching punch called Jolly Hat Builder Punch. And Ooh, then there's also... cool! <laughs> there's also a set of uh, little bing jingle bells? Jingle bells that go along with these. So they're not in my box, but of course, kind of you're thinking red green with that. There's metallic thread in red and green, which will be a great addition. All right, what else do we have? Oh, oh, I didn't show you this with the pine cones. So here is the embossing folder that matches the dies and the stamps from the pine cones and presents suite. So that one's going to be super popular. And then let's see, what else do we have in here? Oh, ooh, ooh, stockings. Okay, so let me open the die set for you. Um, if you are a fan of Christmas stockings, Ninja, are you a fan of Christmas stockings? Yeah! Yes, whoa! Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, so yes, our Ninja is a fan of Christmas stockings. And then here are the Hang Your Stocking stamp set and the Coordinating Christmas Stocking Thinlets. So these go together. So you can stamp, and there's the size, so you can see them. Um, they're quite a bit bigger than the punch that we had a few years ago. I'm really looking forward to using these. So, all right, what else do we have in here? Oh, that's kind of fun. So there is um, the Cable Knit Dynamic Textured Impressions. Okay, I don't understand this because I haven't opened it yet, but the folder is double thick. It's much thicker than I expected. So let's just open it up together and see if we can figure it out. Um, oh, Trick or it's three? like, we're, we're not quite there yet, but oh, thanks Ninja. No. It's super thick. Okay, can you see how thick that is? It's like a double thickness folder. I can't wait to see this. You know what, I think that um, the dynamic means instead of being ridges on one side and flat on the other, it's ridges and groove on both sides. So it's really cool. Um, I can't wait to see this one in action. And then of course to go with it is the um, fun cable knit twine. So that goes with our um, warmth and cheer suite. What else do we have in here? Oh, more fun things in. Oh, hey, this goes great with the um, the pines, the pine cones and presents. There's a new um, ombre stampin' pad. This one's Emerald Envy. And if you haven't used those yet, you're definitely going to want to give them a try. Oh, it looks like I have some ribbons. And... Oh, more twine. So here's fun baker's twine in all the colors to match the different sweets. Um, oh, this one comes from a New Year's suite, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't have a ton of this stuff yet because it's on my list, but this pink and silver together will also be great for Valentine's Day. And the red and green that I have here are, oh, so pretty. So it's the silky taffeta ribbon, which we don't have in the regular catalog. Um, so we're going to be excited to have access to that. And I keep putting a couple things back because I want to group them together. You just have to wait. Oh, oh, here's another Christmas item. Um, these I was really excited about. So there's a 
number of different things you can do with this particular set. Um, the they actually would apply to lots of things outside of Christmas. Um, so let me explain what I mean by that because when you first look at them you'll think, oh yeah, that looks like Christmas. So this is the Mary Tags Framelits dies and the Merriest Wishes stamp set to go with them. So you can see how those go together. I think I just dropped a... Oh, oh who knows. What did I drop? Drop. Oh, a piece of plastic. Thank you. See, this is why you need a Stampin' Ninja. Yeah! Thank you, Ninja. Okay. So anyway, this one um, with the falling snow motif, the circle motif, um, the fun medallion motif, this one really um, can extend well beyond just the Christmas season. So excited for that. What else are we? Oh, glitter! Yay! So glitter! because Stampin' Ninjas always like glitter, right? So these are the red and the green glitter, the ultra fine that matches like the dozen diamonds and so forth that Stampin' Up! carries. Oh, hey, I found these. They match that um, pink and silver ribbon, the frosty, what does that say? Fancy Here. frost sequins. Can I see? So, yeah. All right. Thank you, Ninja. Uh, okay, so I think we might be getting into Halloween. Oh, you know what? Before we get there. Okay, in this cute little box is something that lots of people have been requesting. I've already had <laughs> I've already had a couple of people contact me and say, hey, when is that available? It is the Tin of Tags project kit. Ooh, when and, is it available? Uh, it's that's a good question, Stampin' Ninja. It's available September 1st. Unless you're a demonstrator and then you can pre-order it now. Oh, so. I'm not a demonstrator. No, you have to be 18. I'm sorry, Stampin' Ninja. Okay, so here is the little instruction kit that comes with it, and then there's this cute little metal box which has inside it the um, pieces of the projects and the ribbon and the... Oh my gosh, those are really pretty. Um, look at those giant foil sequin... sequin? Giant foil snowflakes and some wooden snowflakes, tags, washi tape, uh, fun glitter. Anyway, here are the pieces that come with it and the examples. Oh, how pretty. So we have um, instructions. Oh, there's a lot of instructions for each tag. So really, you could make them exactly like this or you could make them differently, but they show um, the different elements that you use for each one and then how to assemble them. That'll be fun. Maybe Stampin' Ninjas will even like that. Oh, yeah, look at it. <laughs> this is the Warmth and Cheer Designer Series Paper Pack. Um, this one is one of the six by six sizes and it will have to flash by here. Um, it matches the folder that I showed you, the one that we sort of figured out together that it embosses and debosses on the same pass. So that's pretty. I love having those little sizes for treats at Christmas time. Oh, and then of course you need the Tin of Tags stamp set to go with the um, Tin of Tags project. And there's a bunch of good ones in here that are not just Christmassy. Um, with love, surprise, go ahead, tear it open. So you can use this one. Yeah, tear it open! <laughs> that's what we're doing, Ninja. Yay! Okay, so you can use that one all year long. All right, so now let's trade um, seasons a little bit, and we're going to switch over to our um, little bit of our fall season, and the suite for this is called Petals and Paisleys, and this one is very pretty. Um, the colors involved in this one, let me check on the back. Do you love how the colors are listed on the back of the designer series paper now? Cajun Craze, Delightful Dijon, Mint Macaron, Night of Navy, Rich Razzleberry, Soft Suede, and Vanilla. So it's a vanilla-based suite, and, or vanilla-based color scheme, which is just really perfect at this time, this fall time of year. And I have here the dies and the stamps that go together. So really nice combination. Thankful, grateful, blessed. My world is brighter and more beautiful because of you. I thank you for taking part in my journey. There's some really nice greetings in here that are a little different from other things that we've seen before. And then, of course, to go with that, there is the gorgeous Petals and Paisley's Designer Series paper, which um, my new favorite metallic um, features copper. So the copper paper that goes with this is wonderful. Um, let me show you these. So here are the patterns on one side and then are those also available on September 1st? Yes Ninja they are also available on Yay! September 1st. <laughs> Alright so there's the back side of these 
Let's see what else. Oh, of course we need some ribbon to go with that. So here are the um, triple rolls of ribbon to match the petals and paisleys. And then, oh, these are super cute too. Um, I think these pine cones uh, are copper, so they'll match really nicely with that sweep. Um, but they'll also match nicely with the mm -hmm. evergreens embossing folder. And with my cross and with my armor. Yes, should you have ninja um, outfits to match for your cards, you'll, you'll be in good shape. But here, can you see those? Here are those um, super cute, look at little tiny pine cone elements. All right, yeah. we'll close those up before they disappear. Okay, so let's see what else is in here. I have one more season that I haven't uh, shared with you yet. Let's see, what else? Oh, I have a whole bunch of paper. <gasps> oh, okay. Wait. Oh, the other thing that came out with Petals and Paisleys, I couldn't figure out why there were so many sheets of this in here. But I ordered, the maximum that you can order as a demonstrator is three of the consumable items because we have to leave some for everyone to order on September 1st. But I went ahead and ordered the max of these because I am so excited. I felt like these were missing from the regular catalog. They're copper foil sheets and I love this copper. The new copper metallic thread, all these things. So these are just Whoa. like, ooh. Shiny. <laughs> so these are um, just like the gold and silver that we have, um, but copper to go with this season. So that is wonderful. Okay, so that's what all those were. And then this, oh yeah, this was kind of fun too. So this is embossed paper, um, which you can use for a whole bunch of different techniques. And as opposed to the dry embossed, uh, or the, the wet embossed paper, this is actually dry embossed paper. So I don't know how well you'll be able to see the designs here, but I can show them to you. Um, and this paper will be really pretty for a whole bunch of different technique-y kinds of things. So look forward to seeing this paper in action. All right, did that bring us to our last season here? I think it might have. Let's trick see. Trick or treating? It, it is trick or treating, Stamp Ninja. Yay! Is this going to be your, uh, are you going to wear this for Halloween, the Stamped Ninja co um, costume? No. No. Okay, well, we'll just have to see what Stamped Ninja wears next time. But we have, of course, to go with our Halloween theme, some designer series paper. So here is that. We have on the front side... Um, all kinds of blacks and whites and orange. Oh, those pumpkins are darling. So this paper um, falls in with the um, hand-painted variety, all those little pumpkins and the little bats and so forth. And then some really cool sheets with metallic silver on them here. Oh, that's pretty. And those haunted houses are really fun. And then the back side is grays and oranges. Smoky slate and pumpkin pie. It looks What's like. Smoky slate? It's a great color. And then, of course, some uh, twine to match it. And the uh, Halloween. Oh, because, of course, you're going to need to go with all your haunted houses. A black ombre pad. Ooh. And the Stamped Inge is excited. And then to go with that, of course, we need the haunted house. Wait a minute. Okay, I'll have to look for my haunted house set. I'll, I'll do it. Okay, thank you, Stamped Ninja. You're going to get those out for us. So let's find out the Halloween scenes edgelets. This is my favorite Halloween. Don't you wish you were the Stamp Ninja and you could just pop through that box? <laughs> this is my favorite of the Halloween um, die cuts. So this one, when it came out, I said, oh, I definitely need that. But here it is, and it matches the stamp set. Thank you, Ninja. The stamp set is called Spooky Fun, and the framelits here are the Halloween scene edgelets. And this tree is amazing. Look, the doorbell's ringing. Someone else wants to come and check out our fun. Okay, well before I answer that, I have one more thing to show you. The Ghoulish Grunge stamp set, which is gonna go perfectly with all of our Halloween treats. Look at that drippy stuff, right? Okay, well it's exciting stuff around here. We have stamp ninjas, we have boxes to open, we have doors to answer, I better go get that. But thank you for watching. Again, uh, Lovin Stamps is where you can find me for all kinds of tutorials and fun. And I look forward to sharing more unboxings and tutorials with you soon. Bye. Happy stamping. Peace out.